So today, we are making another recipe from the beautiful region of Extremadura, truly one of the most underrated regions in all of Spain, and I don't know why because they have such beautiful architecture and their landscape is absolutely stunning. Anyways, the dish we're making is Tarangoyo Extremeño. This is basically potatoes that are fried in extra virgin olive oil, and then they're topped off with roasted red bell peppers and a garlicky tomato sauce to take things to the next level. Folks, you can serve these potatoes as a tapas appetizer like they do in Spain or even as a side dish next to some grilled fish. Either way, this is what regional Spanish food is all about. This video is sponsored by Tienda.com. You know that Tienda is an online superstore focusing on selling all things Spain for your home and kitchen and they've been around since 1996. And like I always tell you, they have the biggest selection of authentic Spanish ingredients like artisan Spanish cheeses, the famous jamón serrano and jamón ibérico, Marcona almonds, olives, the beautiful canned seafood from Spain, and all the spices you need to make all your favorite Spanish recipes, among so many other ingredients. And let me tell you, when it comes to cookware, they have an amazing selection of authentic Spanish paella pans that range in size from two servings all the way up to 50 servings, and they even offer classic grilling systems that way you can always perfectly cook your paella. Folks, visit Tiana.com, let them know Albert from Spain on Fork sent you there, and make sure you use coupon code on Fork during checkout for 10% off your order. Let's begin by cutting two red bell peppers that have been washed and patted dry, each one into large pieces. As you know, when I'm working with bell peppers, I like to cut around them, that way there's no seeds involved. Then we'll slice an X on three tomatoes, and we'll cut a slit on eight cloves of garlic, and then wrap them in foil paper. Then we'll add the vegetables into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper and you want to make sure everything's in a single layer and for those bell peppers to be skin side up. And we'll drizzle a kiss of extra virgin olive oil over the bell peppers and tomatoes. And we'll add our baking tray into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, that's the bottom and top heat, very similar to a convection oven, 210 degrees Celsius, which is 410 degrees Fahrenheit. After about 30 minutes and all the vegetables are perfectly roasted, I'm going to take them out of the oven and we'll add all the vegetables into a large bowl and then cover it with a plate and let them sit there between 20 to 30 minutes or until they're cool enough to handle. And let me tell you, by trapping that steam in there, it's going to make it so much easier to peel the vegetables. In the meantime, let's start cooking our potatoes. I'm going to grab a large fry pan, heat it with a medium heat and add in a generous cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 300 milliliters. And let me tell you, to fry these potatoes, you can use other types of oil, but by using extra virgin, like they do in Extremadura, is what gives this dish that beautiful death of flavors. While the olive oil is heating, I'm going to cut three medium-sized potatoes that have been peeled, washed, and patted dry, each one into rounds that are a quarter inch thick, which is a little over half a centimeter. Now to make this recipe, I'm using new potatoes, however, you can use whatever potatoes you like. Then we'll gently add the sliced potatoes into the pan with the hot olive oil. And you don't have to mix the potatoes around continuously, but do get in there every three to four minutes. That way they all evenly fry. In the meantime, let's move back to our vegetables. At this point, they're cool enough to handle. I'm gonna start by removing the skin from the roasted red bell peppers. And then we'll cut them into thin strips and set them aside. Then we'll peel the tomatoes, and by cutting that X on top, you can easily remove the skin. and we'll add them into a food processor. And we'll also remove the skins from the cloves of garlic and add them into the food processor with the tomatoes. Then we'll add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is 30 milliliters, and half a tablespoon of sherry vinegar, which is about eight milliliters. Then we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll run the food processor between 30 seconds to one minute or until we end up with a beautiful creamy sauce. 
All right, let's move back to our potatoes. They've been frying between 20 to 25 minutes, and at this point, they should be perfectly cooked through. You know you can always pierce them with a toothpick, and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. I'm gonna start removing the potatoes from the fry pan and transferring them over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath. This is to drain any of the excess olive oil. And we'll season the potatoes with sea salt. And as for the remaining olive oil in the pan, you just run it through a fine sieve to clean up the olive oil. That way, you can use it in future recipes. Okay, let's start assembling our dish. I'm going to add the potatoes into a large plate. Add the roasted peppers over the potatoes. And we'll top it off with our garlicky tomato sauce. And for the final touch, we'll garnish it with some fresh parsley. Check it out, our Tarangoyo Extremeños done, a beautiful potato dish from the region of Extremadura. Incredible presentation, easy to make, and made with the simplest ingredients. Let's give it a try and see how it turned out. All right, folks, here we go. Absolutely delicious. I mean, I don't know what to say. Potato cooked in uh, extra virgin olive oil, my all-time favorite. Then the homemade roasted red bell peppers and that garlicky tomato sauce to take things to the next level. You know, this is a very unknown dish from the region of Extremadura. Give it a try at home. Once again, as a tapas appetizer or even as a side dish, and I promise the flavors will completely blow you away because it is that good. Real quick before I go, uh, shout out to a couple of my patrons, Sam Cohen, Kent Anderson, Grace Suarez, Amy Martinez, and Nancy T. Again, guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends that we're Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.